Welcome to the Turf Report with Sam and Jess. Let's go! <laughs> My Welcome goodness. back to the Turf Report. We missed a week. Holy guacamole. What's your problem? That's the first out of we've done i think we're at like 70 ish yeah. episodes yeah. and that was that nobody was, can say shit because your mom died yeah like i mean it's yeah if you guys have something to say like my mom died so yeah. it's like not no even. it really was like we would have done it but it was like a scheduling thing yeah where you came back from hawaii and then immediately left to your mom's funeral immediately mm-hmm. Literally, yeah. we or service. Did they call it a funeral? Or they yeah, it, it was. Service? It was a celebration of oh, life. God, it wasn't. I hate Why can't we just have funerals? Well, because there wasn't a body. But you don't need a body to have a funeral. I guess not. Well, I don't know. I don't know why they call it a celebration of life. It's, it's weird. Because um, it's not like they're not alive. It wasn't. Anymore. We weren't really. It wasn't. A, it wasn't a very. It was, we weren't celebrating. You're right. I do feel better already. Yeah. See, I know it. I, know. I was like, like half really? grumpy when I started uh, right before the podcast. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Sam was grumpy before we started. I was not that grumpy. <laughs> you gave me a donut and I have coffee. I happy. know, but you still you still come in with like, a, you're like, oh, shit. Because we haven't done it in a while. And it's like, I've this been, is just a no. thing we have to do. And then you get in here and then you're no. like, oh, shit. That's right. I have no, fun the podcast hasn't this. been like that in a long time. The podcast hasn't felt like a burden in like... Yeah. Six months. That's when we had our little thing. Do you remember good, yeah. that thing? Yeah. We all remember. Yeah. We should have a bingo card. <laughs> what? Of like a, 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 like a tarp report bingo game. Where every like, time I bring up. Yeah. Uh, like bad time stuff. Where we almost, the podcast <laughs> almost ended. Yeah. <laughs> then, or you have to take a shot. Yeah. Should be like the, the tarp report drinking Or game. we talk about the last episode. Yes. Or we talk about. <laughs> uh anything suicide or like somebody cries somebody cries well god we've had a lot of those well i was thinking about it too i'm like we've even like i mean we've had this isn't the first loss that we've had on the podcast either it's like you oh, know yeah, we've been through just a man i've been thinking about that yeah like we've been through um some, some i actually stuff. went i actually went to the races last night with a a friend of some other folks in recovery mm. and we were talking about justin it was pretty cool yeah. Had a wonderful time. I was so grumpy because nobody wanted to come to the races with me. My kids didn't want to come. Brittany didn't want to come because they're like, we just got back from vacation. Yeah. We didn't want to go have more fun. And then what did I say when you invited me? I don't know. What did you say? Oh, you didn't invite me. I did. You I said did I was going not. to the races. You said, I'm going to the races later. Why didn't you want, you should have said something. You didn't say, something. do you want to come to the races That's what that me? means. No, I was in Seattle. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I did think about it though. I was yeah. like, oh, because I do want to go to the races. But, but I was, I like, was nah. there was like people that recognized me from comedy, which is cool. But like, it's weird because somebody recognizes me from comedy and I, I don't want to be like, hey, you're that comedian guy. I don't want to be like, yeah, can I sit with you? Because <laughs> I didn't, have, I didn't want to sit alone. But did you do that? No, I found people. I was like, oh, I would walk down the thing, and then they were like, Sham, Sham. And it was just friends of mine, my friend that builds houses. And, no, that's nice. And his wife, who I'm. Um, you love go Danielle. places. And then yeah, they're people. just wonderful folks, dude. It's like, I have such a soft spot in my heart for like ex cons with like a heart of gold that are like, they're like, oh, I'm not doing that no more. Like, right. I gotta, I gotta switch it up a little bit. Like, that's the best. Like, I don't really like some ex cons kind of like rub me the wrong way because they're just still on that like the non reformed ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, well, it's not. I don't know if reform's the right word, but they. It's like this mentality of like, it's 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 hard to enjoy your time with them because for certain amount of people, it's almost like experiencing joy is like something to be like. Yeah, um, it's. I would equate it to embarrassed about. I would equate it to like some military men, like same kind of deal. There it's are like some that. who can like who just take themselves like a little too yeah, seriously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like being yeah. like so macho that you're like having fun is gay. Yeah, you know? you're like uh, yeah. I remember I I watched a soldier bring. Uh, Hi, honey, go. Yeah, you're good. Um, <clears throat> we we are in Studio Four Hundred Two. We know how it goes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is yeah. summer break in, in the studio. We have a couple of our interns here, uh, yeah, just you it. know, just making sure everything's running the way that it's supposed to, making sure the bathrooms are in tip-top shape for the for the talent. 
when it's, they come. That's the best. I just went in there and blew my nose. So. <laughs> and, and, it's, and you realize it's not in tip-top shape. I realized the other day that pretty much every morning I drink two cups of coffee, have a pastry, I sneeze really hard, and 30 minutes after that I take a giant shit. And that's like every single morning almost. Do you feel like that was? Do you feel like that was really important for us to know? <laughs> I feel like there's no going back. Yeah. Well, I'm really glad that's good. You um, can't unknow it. It's when I wake up in the morning, I have to pee really bad, and sometimes I don't make it downstairs. Oh, and you piss so, yourself? Not on purpose. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if you do it on purpose. Nobody. Very few people piss themselves on purpose. Like, so it's not like I mean, so just a little, just like a dribble. Oh, well, that's because you wait too long. I know, you sleep I sleep too hard. Oh, well, I have, well, and I have ADHD, and I think that, like, it just, because I just hold my pee, and I'm like, oh, wait, I'll go uh, in a second, I'll go in a second. I wanted to argue I don't even want to hear it, underwear I tree, underwear I pants, know. I don't want to hear know. it. I, I was I was, like, I was about, like, I was like, ADHD doesn't make you have uh-huh. accidents. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, I'm sorry. Because I don't see my shitting my pants <laughs> as a boy as an accident. It was. You did that intentionally. No, it was just negligence. Well, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like me not peeing when I feel the urge to go pee is negligence. Yeah. That's me. It's no different than when I'm like, oh, I really am dehydrated. Like, What's TikTok going to show me next? <laughs> oh, oh, no, I weed. I sure I sure am dehydrated. <laughs> Let me get my refresher. I think I need some coffee. Yeah, definitely. But um, yeah, um, it's been a um, couple weeks. It's been a couple weeks. Um, We've both. We've been gallivanting. Yes. About. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been, I went to, we both went to Hawaii. Not at the same time, not which a lot of people thought time. we did go at the same time. No. Uh, we were not in Hawaii at, not the, at same the same time. time. Not on the same island, I don't think. I don't think so. Where were you? I don't know. You don't know where you were <laughs> at scared. in Hawaii? I was, um, I was not on the big island. Yeah, that's where I was. I was on the Big Island. Yeah, yeah, I think you were on Oahu. Didn't you go to like the North Shore or something like that? I think so. Okay. I yeah. was where they made Jurassic Park. Um, you were at a dinosaur park. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> yes. Was cool, You're nice. Did you? Uh, they. It's like literally like where they did. Um, they Maybe made you were like. On, I think. Uh, I think that was on Kauai. Yeah. 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 Did you guys stay at a military spot? No, we stayed at a Marriott, and like oh, nice. it was. I mean, it was fucking gorgeous. It yeah, was like yeah. it had like the the hotel was like a a stinking resort itself. Yeah, like, yeah. And you stayed at a resort. It, well, it was a Marriott, so I'm like, not yeah. really. But like, it was all done through the like. I don't want to yeah. say it like that makes it sound like bougie and like it was all done through the military and through the you know we got a discount. They got to do that in the military to be like. Yeah. This is going to be a hard life. Yeah. Here's, here's, let me give you a 10% discount. (laughs) Like, well, yeah, they made like the direct, they actually made like a bunch of movies there. And like, anytime um, they need a jungle scene, but they have to be close to like resources. Hawaii. Yeah. That's a good spot. It was really fun. That's one. We had a, it was hard because I, you know, the, the Maryland trip is like Mm -hmm. after and it's like this thing that's like daunting. And like, I'm like, um, you know, even just the flight alone. Oh, yeah. It's such a long flight. It's like and five hours. It's like flying across the country. Yeah. And you're going to come back and like that. I'm flying out on Wednesday mm-hmm. and to New York. And it's like the same. Yeah. You'll be there probably six hours. The same deal. Five yeah. It's like five and a half hours. Yeah. The other thing, and I don't know if you're like this, but like I suck at vacations. I mm. want to like do stuff. I want to like. You want to go. Work. And now it's the stupidest thing because I've been back. I got back the day before yesterday and I don't want to, I don't want to do anything. Right. I don't want to do anything. I, what is that? Why? (laughs) Is it, uh, is it the weather? I don't know. No, it's like, is it like, because I know when I was in Maryland, I was fucking motivated and I was so happy and I was like, oh my God, when I get home and then it's, and like, I'm like, I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to spend all my time and I'm going to just, I'm going to focus the fuck up. And then literally as soon as I landed, I was like, ugh. Yeah, oh, I don't want to do that. They, they was, it's like everybody's like, "Oh, relax! Like, just focus on having a good time." And I was like, "I relax all the time, and I'm I like, I have a good time doing do comedy you? and like doing stuff." Do you relax? No, I try. <laughs> be like, nah. I watch. I like. Nah, no, you I had. Relax. Listen up! Listen up! Listen up! I had multiple moments on this trip where I was like. 
chill. Like I did yeah. really good a couple times. So like there was times where I was like swimming in the ocean and I was mm. like, this is amazing. And um, our hotel had like a really cool pool and me and the kids spent a lot of time at the pool. And basically every night at sunset, we'd go to the pool and watching like the sunset over the water behind these like palm trees Aww. was amazing. Mm. And uh, yeah, it was, it was dope. It was really dope. Yeah, so, it was gorgeous. Yeah. And I did relax as much as I could, but I was also like, I don't know. I'll talk about it. Like I've been like pretty down the last like. The last, like, two or three days of vacation, I've been, like, the last two days, and since I got back, I'm just kind of, like, um, I had to handle some stuff for um, the record label. Um, mm -hmm. Had to go get these pictures taken with Gabe and Centralia, and um, felt bad about that because I kind of dropped the ball, and then it became, like, a there was, like, a deadline, basically. For getting those photos done? Yeah, so some people, you know the joke. There, we're we're releasing like a single, like a vinyl record, like yeah. a, a single. Oh yeah, so yeah, like yeah. A, okay. Like mm -hmm. a what do you call them? Like a nine inch or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like a smaller record, and it's this joke about peanuts that has become like a big part of my act. And um, we're going to release this small like, and we're working on the back cover. And so I had to go take these pictures, and then some of the pictures. One of the pictures is me like jumping. Oh, and um, it's it was Ugh. really yeah yeah I was like, and it's it, it's hard because like I'm tired I'm jet lagged you know. and like in the picture I'm like I'm like jumping for joy yeah literally jumping for joy in the picture and you're like where is it and so like I'm jumping and I'm tired of jumping and Gabe's like smile bigger <laughs> like in the picture they're smiling bigger and I'm like ah it's like hurting my face yeah. and then i have to have my arms raised up for like right because you're uh, jumping for joy i was i was not into it i just wanted to go home but like it's not like it's not that big of a deal and uh i mean i feel better today today is like i feel like going to the races last night and hanging out with my friends coming and podcasting with you like i kind of feel like i'm back on my like rhythm yeah but like still i don't know and then the other one too and i i wrote it down and then i scribbled it out because it kind of goes along with my what did i write general low-grade terror <laughs> yeah um just comedy slowing down in the summer and mm -hmm. like and at that same point like my kids are out of school and they want to do stuff and stuff costs money right and um it's like it's not a good mix uh and then i had a show so I, i'll just talk about i don't think it's, it's anything i shouldn't talk about but like i had a show i was gonna headline in austin at vulcan yeah like i had a date like a thursday to yeah. headline at like one of the best comedy clubs in austin right what happened um the guy who booked me like left his position before i was on the schedule <laughs> no. and so like it was like such a gut punch but like the and they shit, didn't have it like no booked, they don't so they didn't have it it like, wasn't reserved, on the schedule and here's anywhere. the thing i've been trying to i tried to email the um i got like a new email for like the new booker i think but i think mm. there's like i don't think i have the right email i don't know i haven't heard back but here's the thing that's and this that is the sucks. stupidest thing it does but you know what here's another thing like i booked a freaking i'm doing like another aa conference Yay. in sacramento in like march of next year and it's huge and like it's also like i'm doing like a i get basically like like almost the whole door mm -hmm. so like people at these aa conferences you like pay for the conference but then there's these like additions mm -hmm. And like for an extra twenty bucks, you get to come to the comedy show. Yeah. And um, last year, like we're talking, like I don't even, I don't want to say it. I'll tell you off air, but like it's a significant chunk of money mm. that I'd be um, that I could make. And um, so it's like this thing where like I want to hyper focus on like this like clusterfuck, and nobody's like wrong. Like the guy Zach, he's very nice. I don't blame him. I don't know what happened. I don't know why he's not there or whatever. Um, 
Oh man, that sucks. I know, yeah, sucks. I know, I know. I See, a- you understand, but like, you also understand how I'm like fucking this up because, like, like I'm at this point too where I can book like. I really can go almost anywhere and I can make enough money to keep going. Like right. I can do that. But also like that thing, it like triggered this fear because the Florida run, did we record after I got back from Florida? I think so. I don't think we did. Cause I think we would remember cause Florida was not good. Like right. Tampa was awesome. Yeah. And Tampa saved it. Uh-huh. But like Florida as a whole, like there was, I met some sweet people and God, thank you so much to the people that actually came out to shows. Yeah. But like, there's this thing where like, I'm like, I'm so proud because I've built this online following, but how do I turn that into butts in seats? Right. Like, how do I get butts in fucking seats? That's what I need. Mm-hmm. I don't, I like, I love that people love what I'm doing and I get sweet messages from people. They don't pay my bills. But that shit doesn't work. It just doesn't. And it's like, it's 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 really... It's like tipping a waitress with a compliment. It's like, you did such a great job. And yeah. then giving her a quarter. It's every like, time. Oh. Yeah, every time I wanted more coffee, you were right there. And it's like, thank you. I'm going to take that the, directly yeah. to my electric bill. I'm having the best morning. <laughs> and it's because of you, Deborah. <laughs> and then you're like so excited. And you're like, ooh, she's going to send me five bucks. Five bucks guaranteed. But you know what I mean, though? I'm yeah. like, I'm all, I'm all flubbered up. I'm yeah. all like, uh, I'm in that weird like self-doubt spiral well it stinks too when you're when you have a connection and then that connection doesn't (laughs) it doesn't connect anymore we've talked on the phone jess like you know what i'm saying like because i i used to there was a booker for um yeah one of the clubs and then we had a good we had a great relationship like he would message me on facebook and Mm -hmm. like whenever you would need me last minute and i'm like love it and then um, I messaged him one day, just checking in and saying hi. And he was like, oh, yeah, by the way, I don't work there anymore. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I'm so <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And then delete from friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm like, I'm yeah. so happy that you're doing other things. That's really great. But, <laughs> New phone, who did? <laughs> but selfishly, I'm like, God damn it. Oh, oh yeah. That sucks. But yeah, I mean, we can. That's it, though. That's and and like as I'm sitting here talking to you, like. I know that I'm okay. Yeah. Um, that that is what this feels like. Mm-hmm. That there's going to be like a lot of, a lot of my runs are going to be like, I'm just a comedian at that level. Like I'm at this like intermediate headliner shit where like I have like a decent online following, but I'm not a big enough name to where, if a, if you put me up on a sign, people would be like, oh, shit, Sam Miller. Or, like, um, and I don't have, like, a marketing team. Yet. 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 So. We'll get there. We will see. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, um, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Like, even just selling tickets to people who do put butts in seats. Like, you know. Like, we'll have a comedian who, as soon as they'll put out a flyer and they'll sell 20 tickets, like, the day of, and then that's it. Like, and then yeah. nothing. And then it just stalls. Yeah. Like, what the hell happened? Yeah. Like, what happened? I'm they just really... Never know. The other... I'm, I'm doing a bunch of stuff in Portland, mm-hmm. including it looks like I am going to headline at Helium um, mm-hmm. on, a, on a Tuesday, probably. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah, which isn't like, you know, not a great comedy night, but it's it's cool to be in there. Headline a club. Yeah. And uh but I have all this other stuff booked around that same time in Portland and I feel weird about that. Like I'm doing Vancouver at the same time and um that's not gonna work with my ADHD. You can't write stuff. <laughs> Well, I was just that just reminded me, I was wondering if you're watching um Portland comedy just reminded me of everything that's going on in Portland right now, which was what happened in Portland. Uh, one of our producers, Chris Hudson from leave your troubles was um, assaulted. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know if it was like outside of a show or something like that. Yeah, I know Chris, he's a sweetheart. He's like the nicest, one of the most, yeah. one of the kindest. His show is really fun too. And just supportive. And like, we've worked with him since the beginning of comedy bar. Um, ended up being pushed down like I guess onto the sidewalk and um 
got a concussion and broke his kneecap. Like, like legitimately. Who him? Uh, another comedian who over a uh, over a fifteen dollar tape that he said that he never got paid for, or or over, basically over fifteen dollars, and literally assaulted him. And who? Broke what his comedian? Knee. Do I know I him? Are I, they like? Are they like no. an open mic? Yeah. I mean, it's a, yeah somebody who's wild enough to. Oh my God. Break someone's kneecap. But then it was like, dude had posted about it on Facebook. So it was all like premeditated. Like, and it was, Portland's out of control right now, is what I'm saying. <laughs> dude, Portland comedy. Fuck. Like, I'm sorry, Chris, man. That oh shit my sucks. gosh. Yeah. Like, I'm, yeah, immediately I'm like, Chris, Chris is so kind. And like that, I mean, nobody deserves to get, I mean, some you people know, don't deserve to get people. You know, I think a lot of issues in comedy are like, could be resolved with, it's about power, right? Mm -hmm. Like, there's people that just start in comedy and they're like, man, that dude is like between me, like he, like if I can, if I can impress him, he'll put me on his show and then I'll have a career in comedy. But you know what is fucked is because not only is that person not going to put you on that show, but that show is not going to change your career. Yeah. Like it's not. It's not just the issue is not just power. It's people thinking there's power where there's none. Right. You know, like, I mean, look at like. So I work with Lynette all the time. I work with you a lot too, but I work with Lynette, and before that, it was Sam Ellison. Mm -hmm. Like it. If it wasn't for me, they'd probably just be doing it for some other headliner guy. Right. You know, like it's not like there's no magic there's nothing special about you no 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 there's no. not there's not no, I'm, not true. no 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 but no as yeah, far as this industry saying. goes like friendships aside like there's no mm -hmm. and so like i could imagine whoever this person is who's like oh like chris <laughs> he's the guy that's holding me right. back it's like keeping me oh from man if you're a comedian and you're listening to this i want you to know that um Mm -mm. There's no specific person that's holding you back. It's it's, it's everything. You. It's you. It's you. It's you. <laughs> it's, you. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's you. But you just got to do a little bit of self reflection and not beat up people. Like I was trying to self reflection. I when I was who are you speaking <laughs> to right now? We're talking to comics. It's not going to happen. When I was in Maryland, I um I took all of my friends to an open mic. And then it, <laughs> and then it behaved exactly like an open mic Hell behaves. Hell yeah! And I was like, "Oh no, what have Hell I done?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I "Were they were they doing like crowd work with your friends and um, shit?" There, oh, it was open mic crowd work is the woo, best. It was something else. It was, you know. And I just, I well, the funniest part was I was number <sighs> seven. And like I went around to everyone because I had a, I had like all kinds of people who came out to see me. It was stinking awesome. Did they give you extra time? No, even though I brought like literally like almost twenty Everybody. people. Um, and <laughs> that's kind of on you. <laughs> <laughs> for what? For bringing, for bringing a bunch of people to an open mic because I know well, you want people to see me. I know I didn't bring like I'm like you guys. I'm performing like, and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna. Come. Yes, you knew what you were doing. Bringing them to, well, I thought for sure I'd get more time. Are you kidding me? If somebody no, brought 20 no. people to my open mic, I'm going to give you at least seven minutes. I'm saying that you didn't invite them to the open mic. I posted that I was going to be, yeah. Like yeah, I wanted people to come see me perform because yeah. my mom just died and she didn't get to see Don't, me perform. You can't, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't do that. My mom had just died. Don't so. do that. But no, but seriously, like. <laughs> I want it because I didn't have a show. Yeah, well, when I think you're wrong. My dad died when I was 12, and I think you're wrong. When else were they going to see me perform, though? <laughs> I know. You're right. I know I'm right. I wanted them to come see me perform, even though it was an open mic. But what I didn't think about was the fact that, <laughs> it's like, an open mic? it was an open mic. Gee, and Christmas. I was like, but I did go around, and I was like, listen, you guys. I'm number seven. You don't have to stay the whole time. Yeah. And like everyone was so sweet and adorable. And they're like, oh my God, of course we're going to stay. Yeah, this we, is, of course we, we love, are so excited. We're so excited we to be comedy. here. We love comedy. Like I watch Kill Tony Stop all it. the time. Yes. Um, by, by, uh, by like nine or 10, they were like, Jess, um, so how many, how many comedians? How many were on how the many? list? 27. Oh my God. Five this minutes was in, each. Was this in Baltimore? Uh, it's in Frederick. Oh, okay. 
And it was great. And I'm so grateful for my time. I'm so, thank you, Ryan Nazer, for letting me do the mic. Thank you for letting me go seventh. I appreciate it. I was very grateful. I it was my first time performing How long did on they the make East Coast. Um, we, I, we all, I will say, I also, I left also early. Did you, did you all leave Which at I once? never do early. I kind of, I was It's all right, outside. your mom just died. Yeah, my mom died. Yeah. <laughs> so we kind of. I gotta go, uh, <laughs> my of, mom died. We kind of <laughs> slowly yeah. snuck out. My best friend Katie was there. Yeah. And she was being the exact audience member that you do not want someone to be. What? Like, she was just hooting and hollering and just everything was, it, all the, she was answering every single rhetorical question. I see why she's your best friend. It was, oh my God. Yeah. Like, she had the time of her life. That's and I was awesome. like, Katie, you had the time of your life because you are an edgelord. Yeah. Like, yeah, it yeah, makes yeah, total, yeah, yeah. like, like one of the guys is like, who here thinks that pride shouldn't be more than a day? And Katie's like, woo! <laughs> And I'm like, Katie, you don't even believe that. Katie, stop. Katie, you're a lesbian. <laughs> like, what are you thinking? <laughs> That's amazing. She was just fucking. So I, I literally was dying of like secondhand embarrassment. Yeah. I had to like, I'm like, Katie, I can't. Um, so I snuck outside and was um, just hanging out and, yeah. and talking with my friends. But, yeah. but I did, th I, I did think that. You know, I brought a few people, so I thought no, I would, I thought I would get not, a little I'm, bit I'm more being, time. I'm being like podcast Sam that's like, yeah, where like this shit doesn't like, I was about to say like, it's cool you did that, but in reality, in the grand scheme of things, outside of you enjoying yourself while you were out there for your mom's funeral, what's important is you having a good time. Oh, I, but the thing is I had a fucking... Blast. That's what it looked like. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw I the Facebook post. Like, I kind of felt, felt shitty because I didn't like. I talk to you if people want to know, like, behind the scenes with Sam and Jess. Like, every couple days, I usually call Jess. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes we wait longer. But it's never, like, a thing. Like, if I don't call Jess or she doesn't call right. me in, like, a few days, we don't really give a fuck. But that's like, really fine. I usually call Jess to tell her about weird shit that's happening at shows that I'm doing. And some of it is stuff that we can't talk about on the podcast, you know, about, like, just goings on. Yeah, right. yeah mm -hmm. it's, well, it's fucking gossip is yeah, what it, it is. Yes. The silly <laughs> stuff. The fun stuff. <laughs> You know, but um, I don't think we communicated for like almost a week. Yeah. And it was like a thing where like I'm on vacation. You were on vacation. I went on vacation. You went to your mom's funeral while I was on vacation. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I didn't I didn't talk to you. So it was really good to see you. There. Well, yeah, no, it was I felt because um, I literally had people there from every like my sister was there. Um, Shitty bridges. Yeah. And she's never gotten she hasn't seen me perform like yeah. my best friends from literally elementary school middle school yeah. and high school were all there like it was i felt very um i felt very because i don't have you need to go back it's the thing if you can get 20 people out to a mic if i was a producer i'd be like hey i'll give you like a couple hundred bucks and you can like i did get an offer to do a show but i it wasn't i'm like it's not gonna yeah, uh, be See, worth that's the, the four thousand dollars to change my air flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the that's the issue that you run into is like flights and stuff. But it was, but it was awesome. I felt really because, like, out here, like I have my friends, but they're all my comedy friends. Yeah, like yeah. I don't have people who knew me when I was young. Yeah, you're like come to an open mic. They're like, I was going to be there anyway. Right, like we're like we've seen it, we've heard it. Like See you there. These people like m seeing me perform is like was something special yeah like and that was it felt cool to feel special yeah it is um, special that and, we do this shit. and like they thought that i was cool for doing i'm like what and like i forget that because i'm surrounded by comics and we all fucking hate be doing comedy it is cool yeah to do comedy look you you can't you can't even fucking say it what that it's cool to do comedy i think it's cool i love being a comedian I like, don't you know, see why weird. you're like, struggling, but why, why are you being facetious right now? I'm not being facetious. I, I say it, I say it, it's hard to remove myself from what you're talking about. The fact that I am around comedians all the time. Right. And like, it doesn't feel cool. And, but it is. It like, is cool. like I, you know, I was talking about how, um, I was feeling, oh, see, I didn't even think about this. 
So as I was taking off to Hawaii with the family, right? Mm. Um, I'm on the I'm on the tarmac, and um, I got a message on Instagram from Pineapples Comedy, mm. and they're like, "Hey, um, we run a show in Kona." And we're going to do a oh, show right. after the fireworks on the 4th of July. Mm. Would you like to headline? And I was like, I looked at my wife and I was like, listen, I didn't ask for this. Um, Brittany, I don't know why I said it like that. People know who she is. I looked at my wife. Uh, <laughs> I asked the old ball yeah, and chain. Yeah. And I was like, listen, I didn't offer this. And she wasn't like pumped about it, but she also didn't really care that much. It's right. the last night we were there. And um, God damn, like I had a blast, like just doing comedy. And I got like... I didn't make that much. I made like 150 bucks or something and like, which is bar show like rate. Yeah. But I made sure that I gave more than like 150 bucks worth of comedy. And there was a guy there who was actually on vacation from Ketchikan. And I think I'm going to book a show. Like I'm so close to booking like this. I just got to figure out like a couple things and I can book this amazing Alaska tour. Hell yeah. And, um, he, said this thing to me like he doesn't know all like nobody knew about Vulcan I didn't tell anybody and I didn't I haven't even told people I said that uh big news about a headlining thing and I never said Vulcan I never said what it was I just said it was a big show coming up in Austin I'm hoping to get um that way if I knew that there was a chance that (laughs) she can fall apart yeah I could be like oh yeah I have time to figure something out but anyway um he was like dude he's like dude you're blowing up and um i was like yeah you know and in the back of my mind it's like all that voice it's like he doesn't understand right. like the the struggle to get people out to shows like he doesn't get it but then i was like yeah you know like and then i i had that feeling of like that voice that's like oh yeah you suck was like overcome by that that other voice that's like Sam, you're going to be okay. You yeah. need to chill the yeah. fuck out, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, chill the fuck out for real. Yeah. You know, and that's the, that's what it's like, you know? Um, Yeah. I mean, it was, for me, like, um, it was fun to be reminded that this was something that I used to dream about. Yeah. Like, that part. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, like, them being like, do you, like, my friends from elementary school being like, do you remember, like, talking about, like, us? Uh, you know, you being a comedian and yeah. like, um, they're like, you're, you know, you're, and I'm like, no, I don't remember that, <laughs> but when thank I, you for the fucking reminder. Cause I definitely needed it. Like, it's funny. Cause back then, I don't know about you, but I was always like, um, I would have these dreams of being like a professional athlete or like a professional entertainer. And like, whenever I watch stand up, and I didn't watch too much stand up growing up, I'd be like, man, I wonder what that feels like yeah. to make people that many people laugh. To just use your voice and make that many people laugh and but even then it's like i never believed like it's like no nah, man you're like you're some shithead in span away and your dad's about to die well i didn't know that then he was <laughs> alive. Have a that's, <laughs> that's gonna keep you from being a comedian little did you know that was actually gonna be the the catalyst yeah. to, keep, to make yeah. you a good comedian yeah thanks dad you're welcome yeah yeah and it was cool and i hung out with other comedians but yeah i know exactly what you mean where um yeah sometimes you got to step back and say cuz it will f- like i know um for the bar the bar is a huge source of stress joy. and oh. anxiety and joy um joy for yeah. a lot joy for a lot of people not me <laughs> uh, yeah. but like i need to i i'm not utilizing um the bar for everything that I really could like I'm not like making the connections that I should be making like um and so like I (laughs) that feeling sucks though Jess you know know. what I mean like that's like you just I know what you mean though but it's just yeah so I just have to just figure out time management and just I'm gonna be better about at least spending spending more time at the bar at least one night a weekend like meeting the headliners and yeah The reason putting my face out there. The reason when you said that, like, I know that feeling of like, I'm constantly like realizing a train has left and chasing after it for a little bit and then giving up. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what it feels like, like a lot of times. I just hate cardio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have not been doing that either. Oh, no. I know. Well, I was on vacation, but I don't really have an excuse today. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll You're have to figure it out. Going on. How was the service? Or how was the celebration of uh, life slash funeral? Oh, my gosh. It was really beautiful. There were a lot of people there. Um, it was really nice. All my friends came, which was sweet. Um, I did forget that my sister and my best friend hate each other oh no like with a fiery passion oh, um no. so that was hilarious um but i woke up like was my it over a dude no they just my sister just just does not like oh, man. i don't know it just never um but i had woke up like we were just between the flight and like literally like we went from hawaii we were we flew to washington we were here for less than like five hours oh my god and then flew to maryland and so crazy i told shitty i was like listen i don't think that i want to speak like i i'm i'm very mad i'm i'm not in a good headspace today so i just i don't think it's a good idea you were Uh, mad yeah like i was just like pissed off and i'm like what the fuck is like my mom is like what the fuck happened yeah. Like what the fuck happened? Like, yeah. cause they're negligence. Like there is no reason that my mom should I be dead. I was going to ask and I'm only, I'm not going to press obviously, mm. but like what, what are you like? Do you want to talk at all about like what the fuck happened? I, as far as I know, like there was, the machine was malfunctioning. Yeah. Like this laser that like, cause my mom did like spot welding. Yeah. Like it, and so like, um, but, and they had known it was malfunctioning. My mom had literally texted her boss who was, um, in Bermuda or something. He was having, he was on vacation yeah. and she had texted him and said, Hey, the, the machine is not working. Um, and then he had called the guy that was working on the machine mm-hmm. and was talking to him on those headphones and like there were these three like things that were supposed to be if one was down then the laser didn't work and for some reason it my mom just i don't don't know if she walked in front of it or if she um but i I thought it was her the my mom the front of her but it was it like got her it like got her back it like severed her spine oh jesus basically did and there's like this OSHA investigation. Yeah. Um, so there's there um they had to investigate. They actually were allowed to go back to work like um within a few days, but the, the owner um who is has been in my mom my mom has worked there twenty five years. Yeah, yeah. Um he he's like my sister's dad. Yeah. Like he paid for my sister's wedding. Like yeah. he's, you know, family. Yeah. Um and so uh he he didn't open up right away and they are using the machine because it's you know a one of a fucking one of a kind piece of machinery yeah, and they absolutely yeah. have to use it um but he won't let anyone else use it um but they're i guess the insurance company is trying to go after the 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 machine the people that make the machine and um not for the malfunctioning and yeah hopefully not the Cause I don't, I don't, I, cause my, everybody works there, but, um, God. yeah, what a fucking, so yeah, so I was pissed off. I'm a little pissed off. I'm like, I'm just like, I just not understanding and I'm cranky and I'm jet lag and I'm like, yeah. um, and so I said, you know, I, I don't think I want to speak. And she said, okay, that's fine. Um, and then we get to the part where it's time for people to speak. <laughs> you can't, you say something. Well, and then they said, okay, and the last person to speak today is her oldest daughter, Jessica. Oh, and I'm wow. like, son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I've never called you Jessica. Yeah, it's crazy. Everybody calls me Jessica Ann. Really? Yeah. That's so funny. Um, That's they, like my mom. They call her Mary Lou. Mary Lou? Mary I have Lou. a Mary Lou. Or they call her Lou. Lou. Yeah, Aunt, Lou. Aunt Lou. Aunt yeah. Lou. Yeah. Yeah, we got an Aunt Lou. Um, so I wasn't expecting, and like, I, everything that I was planning on saying, like it didn't, you know, I'm like, this is the weirdest intervention that I've ever been to. Um, <laughs> that's a good, that's a good one. And I was like, hi, my yeah. name is Jess. I'm wasn't an, an intervention on dying. <laughs> like, what is yeah, this? Yeah. Um, um, I just want to say. My sister was literally, she goes, Jessica Ann, stop it. Oh, really? 
because you were like joking. I was doing my material. Oh, I just went straight in. I'm like, I wasn't go. like, I'm like, what? You guys, two things I love. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing comedy and going to funerals. <laughs> Did you really say that? No. That'd be so funny. I don't know what the hell I said. I know I was crying a bit. And um, I know that I ended with, I guess the lesson here is to. <sighs> Stay away from lasers. <laughs> Did you really say that? Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. Did people laugh? I got a laugh. I also got a. <gasps> Good. So. <laughs> people need to. Um, yeah, I edge lord at my own mom's funeral. I get that people grieve their own way. <laughs> um, but so the people sweet. most affected by a tragedy should be given oh, more space. Jesus. So if Jess wants to make a laser joke and you want to clutch your pearls, yeah, yeah, like um, the uh, the direct the the guy the the funeral director came up and he was like, well, that was that was really sweet <laughs> in your own kind of way. That's so funny. <laughs> in your own kind of way. That's he like said. people coming up to you after a comedy show and being like, I just think it's really cool that you go up there. Yeah, to it. <laughs> I love your little your little. You, you <laughs> have great that. energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that persona. And I'm like, oh, that's just me. <laughs> oh. Um, but I was I was glad that I spoke. I'm glad that I didn't let it um happen without without saying something. Yeah, you don't want to miss the um the moment because mm -mm. um there's no redos. It's not like a monthly no show. I uh, my mom was she got a really pretty a really pretty urn. Oh, okay. A really pretty purple urn. Nice. Um, with a cat uh, engraved on the front of it. Do you like cats? Uh, Looney Tunes style. Oh, sick. Let's go. I hated it. Mom. Really? Mom would have loved it. Oh, oh really? my God. She would have thought That's it was so the most funny. amazing thing that she's ever seen. Are you, um, what it, What happens with the urn? Is it stay with shitty riches or what? What's um, so it's going to stay, she's going to stay with her husband, Mitch. Okay. Um, we all got these little, um, necklaces to put like, um, to put some ashes in so that we each have a little, a little bit of her. Yeah. Um, and my brother was wearing his the other day and it broke. The, did the, the necklace, ashes come out? The, there were just ashes all over his chest. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what in the actual fuck is happening? <laughs> That's fucked. I'm like, oh, buddy. I like, but they're not like, yeah, they're not like, glue, they didn't like glue shut or anything. They just like, you can just pop them open. Why are they? I don't know. You can't. You can't. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to. You can, but you shouldn't be able Seal to. <laughs> like, if you just a little bit of ashes, and there's more ashes. I was thinking I can. Did he refill it? Well, with what? Go more. Back to gotta the go urn. get some more, mom. Out I don't the, know how do, you ask for, how do you ask for more, sir? Oh, uh, my ashes <laughs> the same way you do if you <laughs> spill a drink at a bar. I'm like, I'm sorry, I dropped a little bit of mom. Yeah. On my chest. Yeah. I don't know. I should yeah. be able to get some more. I don't know how much is left. There's probably a nice. She was a small lady. I know, but she's still, only five foot. Still, there's like it makes a lot of ash. Hmm. And then my grandmother and grandpa got into a car accident on the way home. Oh, Jesus. No are one told me. Are they okay? <laughs> They're fine. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. It was just a mess. Somebody told me I actually ran into a fan at the races last night that said that they saw me perform at Nate Jackson's and then got in a horrible car wreck. Oh, really? Right after. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. And they said that um, the I had sold a vinyl. I was selling records or whatever. Yeah. And that... Um, the vinyl like broke in the car wreck. They were and just I trying to get him, another record. I told him I'd give him one. Wow, well, I'm like, I want to see proof. Yeah, yeah. Records um, are pretty durable. I'm glad you're back, and I'm glad you. Um, yeah, I'm glad all that shit's over. I, I think oh my gosh, the process. I don't know. Go ahead. Sorry. No, um, it's fine. I was going to talk about like this. You know, when it happened, I remember getting that call, and I was in the hot springs. And was literally like the thinking about calling life. you and telling you about how awesome. Like I was going to do that <laughs> thing where I call you and try to piss you off by telling you about <laughs> how much of a good time I'm having. And the show was great and all this. And then like to get that. Mm -hmm. But then to, to hear it in your voice and like, no, I'm like, oh, cool. Like Jess is in like some form of shock right now. 
Like, yeah. And the, to see how you handled that. And it, I know there's probably been different points where you've gotten different kinds of emotional, not just different flavors of emotion, but different intensities. Yeah. And I hope that, do you feel like you are where you want to be in your grieving process right now? Yeah. I think that the Maryland trip was, um, a central and like, so like just spending time with my brother, like I got to spend, like, I haven't seen my brother in probably 10 years yeah. and like get to seeing him, my brother build a relationship with my kids Oh yeah, and like, and just see them goofing around and like making each other laugh in like the silliest way. Yeah, and like, yeah. um, I was just like, oh, that was healing. That yeah. was like, that made, like, I'm like, this really sucks, but, like, I don't know, you know, I don't know how else we would have got here. Yeah. Um, so it was it was really sweet. Antoinette and her family, um, they put, had food for me, you know, and, like, yeah, you invited everybody. To do, and do too um, much. Mm-mm. The girls got to, they got to chase fireflies, which was, you know, oh, a wow. luxury that you don't have yeah, yeah. on on this coast. No fireflies like, out here. No. Um, I haven't seen them in a long time. Last time I saw fireflies was in Ohio. Must yeah. have been like 20 years ago now. Antoinette has like the perfect outside, uh, like the perfect firefly catching spot too. So, Oh, that's um, awesome. It was really beautiful. We went tubing and the, the water is 95 fucking degrees and uh, it was beautiful. It was really, it was, it was really good. I wish that the, I wish that the Maryland trip had gone before the Hawaii trip because then I could have you know, maybe enjoyed Hawaii a little bit more, but yeah, um, no, I but that's hear that. Okay. That would that would have been that would have been uh, no, ideal. Right. Right. Ideal. <laughs> anyway, um, I yeah. wanted to tell you my um, my kids, um, yeah, are starting their Minecraft camp. This is the Minecraft thing where camp. I'm so happy that they don't listen to the podcast. Because you're going to make fun of them real quick? No, because it's oh. fucking summer school. Like, it sucks. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's summer school. But it's Minecraft camp? They call it Minecraft camp. It's, like, half the day. And they're, like, but it's, like, I think they're secretly going to be trying to teach them, like, math and science and stuff. Doesn't Minecraft already do that? Sort of. But this is, like, Minecraft coding or whatever. Oh. And I don't know how it's going to go. They start tomorrow. They'll have fun. There are, I don't know if they will. No. There have been, um, I think they figured it out. They're like, they're Wait like. Wait a minute. There's no such thing as Minecraft camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're it's like, just, why aren't any of my friends uh, going to Minecraft listen, camp? I am so happy that um, the bus is going to pick them up. Nice. At like eight in the morning tomorrow. Love that. And I'm going to go drink coffee downtown, and then I'm going to go do my stupid workout. Good. And then I will be able to be home, and it'll be like, it'll be like a normal day. Half day. Yeah, I can't wait to just, I feel like Relax. as much as I love my family, like enough is enough. Like right, I feel yeah. like I've been like Done. bombarded with it right now. Did your so. kids travel well? Um, yeah, they do great. Yeah. yeah, it's easy. You know, oh my God, when I was a kid, like a five hour flight mm. was brutal. You yeah. know, maybe you got a good book that you were into. Game Boy, bring some extra batteries, just hope. But you only got like the three games on there, right. like Tetris, and like you can only play Tetris so long. You got the in-flight magazine. <laughs> that know. one's a good magazine. Sky Mall. Sky Mall was where it was at. Yeah. But honestly, like, um, on the way there, they didn't realize that there was no Wi-Fi on the plane. <gasps> and oh, like, no. So, but the Oliver figured it out, and he's like, I downloaded two seasons of The Simpsons. Oh, thank goodness. Like, oh, red, Oliver. That's really smart. And, um, yeah, it was fine. Uh, the flight was fine. Vacation was fine. The snorkeling was really cool. That was like their favorite thing. That was probably my favorite thing too. Yeah. And the snorkel boat was really fun and you could jump off. They had like a, they had like cool slides and you could jump off the fucking thing. So when they got kind of bored of snorkeling, they could jump off the boat. That's that fun. was awesome. Yeah. And it's been, um, I think with me and vacations, not to bring it back around to this shit, but like I'm way more into like the memories than the reality sometimes. Yeah. Like, I don't really... 
<laughs> you're so that's so terrible because it's like everyone's miserable. But you're like, this is great. No, I'm but not, it's after. No, I'm not. I wasn't. And here's the thing too, and I'm gonna be proud of myself for a second. Is it like I did all the stuff and I kept a good attitude the whole time and I didn't have like any major. Um, there was a time where we went to Disney World. Oh yeah, and. I exclaimed very loudly on a crowded bus. Yeah. Fuck Disney World <laughs> very loud. <laughs> and like. I, you know, you just let the intrusive thoughts win. That happens I remember, sometimes. I remember <laughs> a guy. I remember first Brittany being like, what the fuck are you What's doing? Wrong? And me being like, no, <laughs> like, fuck this place. And then there was some guy. Who was like waiting to get is there on the a problem bus. here, sir? No, that's the thing is that I saw him and he looked at me and he was like, and I saw him like about to speak. And I was like, I, he looked at me and I was like, dude, I'll crush you, dude. Don't do like, it. Don't say don't anything. Don't fuck to me it. Right I used now. to smoke meth, dude. Don't do it. I used to smoke meth. <laughs> Jesus. But that was, um, you know, the therapy stuff. Yeah. Has really helped. And you know what? I'm going to save that for Tuesday. Oh, yes, because we're going to record I had shortly. a breakthrough. Oh, my gosh. Breakthrough, breakthrough Tuesday. That's so exciting. Break Tuesday. I had a breakdown. But yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe That's we save exciting. this, too. Okay. What do you think? Sure. And what do you say I go home? I love it. And get the fuck out of here. I'm going to go clean my kitchen. You gotta do those first. Oh, yeah. that makes me happy though. Yeah, because I, you know, okay. So, uh, podcast story. Podcast this will be on the story. Bingo thing. <laughs> I stopped doing jokes for a long time on the podcast, and to me, it shows my buy-in that I started writing jokes again um, because people enjoyed it, and people would say things. I'd be like, "Why don't? Why aren't do the jokes, jokes again? Do jokes again." Um, and I really enjoyed it, but this, there was a first time thing for me. I wrote a joke that was so stupid that I erased it. Mm -mm -mm. Delete, 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 delete. And if you've heard some of these jokes, they're bad. Think about like, can the you imagine? That didn't make the cut, you know? The, yeah. Anyway. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Hit the, hit it, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Joke number one. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll fart on a really hot day, and if I can't feel the temperature change in my pants, I know it's close to 98 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fake barf. That wasn't that bad. That was a real barf. That's pretty clever. Because you know when you fart and you're like, fart. you know when you fart and it's like cold out and you're like, yeah. And it w warms up your butt. Nice. Mm. You know, it just reminded me of Trey. What? Thinking about farts, butts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He farts. was into that. Yeah, yeah, really. I wonder what Trey's doing. Mm. Mm, R.I.P. Yeah. Joke number He's two. Not dead. I know. To us. He's not dead to me either. I'm thinking about bumping up my colonoscopy just for the material. <laughs> Dude, Maybe okay. Maybe dig around, listen, see what we can find. Listen, every stand up comedian, they like hit 45 and they're like, like scheduled yeah. for their colonoscopy. Yeah. And then. It's like, it's a traumatic enough experience that they're going to write a joke Everybody. about it. And I'm so like, I, I hear new takes on it all the time. But like, I was watching one of these comedy channels on like Roku or whatever. Mm. And D.L. Hughley had like this joke about it. And I, I love D.L. I think he's very talented. Like, um, nice guy too. Uh, when I heard his colonoscopy joke, I was like, man, I was like, I got to get. The, you gotta get a I gotta get. I gotta make an I gotta get a finger in my butt. Well, <laughs> you know? I've been there, heard that yeah. thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Know that life. Well, I'm sure you've got a friend who can help you. Mm -hmm. I know a guy who'll do a colonoscopy for free. You don't even have to do a copay. Mm -mm. No, I don't have to do. He'll any actually pay. pay you. Yeah, and you didn't. You didn't even have an office. You can just do it in a park somewhere. Mm -hmm. No late gloves. At night. No gloves. Free, free, free hand it. Mm -hmm. No gloves. And he'll whisper stuff. <laughs> well, he'll write you a note for work. Too. <laughs> Important. Like, <laughs> you need to take more statins. <laughs> Go ahead. Gross. 
<laughs> I'm just like trying to think of other things that happen with your prostate, but I don't know any. No. I don't know any. No. Joke number three. Whenever I get nervous in social situations, I remember the time I went to jail on mushrooms and I realized I'm going to be okay. That really happened. Went to jail on mushrooms. Fourth of July. Sweet. Trespassing. Probation violations. A warrant for shoplifting. Are you bragging? Mm-hmm. I well, am. What did you shoplift? Wine. Ah, <laughs> Always I'm wine. Mad Dog 2020? Nope. Carlo Rossi. Those big old jugs. Damn it. I That's what I put my quarters in. Drunk. Yeah. I, yeah, once you finish them. Yeah. That's... Yeah, that'd be weird if you put them in there. There's still wine in there. You'd be like, no, no, I no, you never. gotta wait. I would never. Yeah. Oh, gross. Yeah. Ew, that's not wine. I loved it. Did oh I ever tell you that I stole wine? It's fuzzy. I stole wine from the Albertsons because we were at this party and like I wanted to be a hero and I was like, I'll go get a jug of Carlo Rossi. But like I'm at the, I'm stealing wine and I'm like, all right, there's these two jugs and Carlo Rossi has those little fingers. I'd be like, I'm not gonna do like less time like i'm gonna get oh, the same if I amount get of one or two i might as well get two yeah of course and so like i was like oh the I, addict in so here. i i run out i run out of albertson's and i got to go through these woods to get to my friend my friend Derek's house where the party was and i go oh i was like i know what i'll do i'll i'll, I'll hide one of the bottles of wine Smart. Smart. and i was in the forest i was like I'll put it next to this tree. <laughs> and I'll never find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who else would never find it? Fucking me. You. Me. Because yeah. I put it, I was like, I'm in a forest, and I was like, I'll put it next to this tree in this pitch black forest. Oh, it's pitch black. Oh, yeah. It's fucking, it's like three, it's like three in the morning, you know? Anyway, I brought the wine back to the house, uh, me and my friend. You got one, though? You got drank. one back? No, I put one in the woods, yeah. and then I went. And anyway, so um, I'm at the. Everybody's drunk. Everybody drinks the bottle of wine. I'm fucking shit face, hammered, like blacked out, essentially now. Yeah. Um, I remember slightly going back into the woods, being like, "Time to get my extra bottle. <laughs> I'm the smartest boy." And then, um, obviously, I couldn't find the fucking bottle of wine. And the next thing I know, I woke up in the woods. No, I woke up in jail because I went back to Albertsons and stole two more <laughs> bottles of fucking Rossi. And the cop was waiting for me because I had done the same thing the night before. Yeah. I was like, oh, I found a way to get infinite wine. You, just, you could just go in there I'm and the take it. I'm the smartest boy. You yeah. just go take it. The ultimate coupon. Jesus. That's I frightening. I never stole never stole you stole people's right to the truth i'm a better person than you are (laughs) number four their right to the truth have you ever heard that before no they said that to me in rehab even if you didn't steal i'm like this doesn't apply to me because i stole stole. all the time (laughs) (laughs) you stole the right to the truth i mean i was pretty upfront if you're an alcoholic and you're actively using you are lying and you are stealing you are stealing people's right to the truth and i'm like that's lying that's the same (laughs) thing isn't it Whatever. I don't think that's steal. Fucking rehab. Stealing is I okay, they asked me when I was in rehab, they were like, Do you think you really need to be here? And I'm really? like, Yes. And I still to this day I don't know if it was because they were testing me or if they really thought I didn't belong there. Do you know this is, I I know we we're just stalling on this last joke, but so I was a chemical dependency counselor and there's these tests they make you take called the Sassy and the Massey. And I don't mm. know if they still do them. But it's the Michigan assessment of I can't remember what it stands for. Substance something. Um, one of the tests they ask, they have all the questions relate to something. Yeah. Um, except there's like seven that mean nothing at all that are just in there. Um, but like if you get yes on this, you get three points. This is, is mm. um, but there's four questions in there that are meant to tell if someone is being dishonest. Right. And they trick you. To and one of the questions are. they go, um, they go, does anybody, um, is there anybody who thinks you have a problem with alcohol? And if you write no, yeah, that is going to come up as dishonest right. because like you're in rehab. <laughs> you, no, because you're, you're not in rehab yet. You're doing an assessment. Oh, okay. And you're doing an assessment because you, you got a, a problem. <laughs> right. Well, no, you might not have a problem. You yeah. might not because some Somebody people thought you did. It's like, I think if I remember right, it's like 30% of people that get DUIs, like do not have Alcoholism. like a substance use disorder. Mm. 
but the you know two DUIs it's like ninety eight percent. But um, they ask you that question and they're like, "Do you? Is there anybody?" And it's like, "No, there are people in the world that think you have a problem with alcohol." Like the cop that just pulled right. you over two nights ago. Exactly. Like he thinks you have a problem. The with cashier alcohol. at your local fucking yeah, yeah, liquor yeah. store thinks your, that you have a problem. Your your stepmom thinks you have a yeah. problem because you your just kid, got a DUI. Teacher. Yeah. And there's three other questions that are like that that like trick you. Yeah. So if you want to beat the sassy or the messy, that's, <laughs> that's how you do it. You just it. have to be honest. You have <laughs> well, no, no, no. You have to be dishonest and honest, and you got to find those questions. See, I am bullshitting so much that my phone's lock screen keeps coming up. Okay, this one's tricky because there's like instructions. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, joke number four. <laughs> I've decided to run for president. In 50 years, <laughs> there's no way I'm ready yet. If you want to be a successful president, you have to be very, 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 very old. Yeah. Is that how many varies I wrote? I or did know. you add more varies? I, I don't know. I, I'm surprised. I only did three varies. I'm surprised that I know how to read. Yeah. Like sometimes it genuinely surprises me. Do you think, like, are you worried you're going to forget? Well, it's just like I'm like reading those words and I'm like, how do I know how to do this? I used to have a joke that I stopped doing because nobody laughed at it about how reading's kind of a trap. Because like once you can read, you they can't just, not read. Yeah. Like it would be nice to look at words and be like, those are weird looking shapes, you know? And yeah. just keep on walking. <laughs> you know, there was a, um, I, uh, I knew a guy. I don't want to go into too many details about where I knew him. But I knew a dude who was illiterate, right? We were yeah. pretty good friends. And um he had some he had some issues um with um I don't know what you would call it, but he he was slow. He was just slow. Okay. Um and he couldn't read and he would he was like a follower, like and me and a bunch of my friends like did graffiti, mm -hmm. right? And we thought it was the funniest thing because, like, he wanted to do graffiti, too, right? And, like, yeah. write stuff. Of course. But, like cool. I said, he was 100% illiterate. Nicest guy. We loved Aww. him and we were nice to him. <laughs> and he wanted to do graffiti. <laughs> and so, like, he was. It's like peace and love and it's no, P -E -I -E -C. no, 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 no. No, Jess. Illiterate. Like, like not like, even. Like, <laughs> has no ideas what letters make one. It's not a thing, like. He didn't misspell words. Yeah. He didn't, he couldn't remember. So he would do graffiti and it was. Just nonsense. Absolute. No, it, no not even like, like, like the letters, but the one thing that he could write was like, cause it was like naughty or whatever. Yeah. Is he would write sex. Ew. So it'd be like, he could do an S and an E and an X. And then there'd just be like all so this stuff around it and just then what like, other variations like, of an s and an e and an x like happy faces and like um That's yeah hilarious. yeah my All dad right. learned how to write love you and that was he learned that in prison it was really oh sweet. that's yeah. right yeah, yeah, yeah well um thank you for listening to the tarp report yeah it feels so good to be back it's funny this is going to come out tomorrow i'm headed to maine on yeah. wednesday so i'm doing one show in long island new york this wednesday thursday and friday um thursday friday saturday i'm going to be in maine maine yeah similarcomedy.com all com. the way on the other side yeah all my schedules up on similarcomedy.com yeah. uh i'm going to newport oregon i'm going to mcminnville the weekend after that and then i'm taking oliver on tour with me yay just me and ollie are you yeah we're going to wenatchee we're doing the wenatchee. run for uh cozy nice. cozy comedy guys which are really nice so. You got anything you want to plug? Um, I just picked up um, the Geek Festival. I'm doing a mm. show for them. Um, Did you do the tryout? Uh, they, um, I'm, I knew Nicole, um, and they had my tape, and she messaged me That's and nice. asked. I had some serious questions about this process with the tryout and all the people doing it for and Cozy? stuff like that. No, for the Geek oh, for Festival. The mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, it sounds like it's actually a pretty good deal. So She's very professional. Yeah, me and um, um, me and Lynette were kind of watching it and being like, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, no. Um, well, Thor was the one who yeah. hooked me up with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, it's all in the up and up. Uh, that's it. Okay. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.